another question is resources. How do we manage increasing numbers of students with uh, out compromising quality? I think this. I think you now this is a place where, where we, we have a, a really hard problem, and that means we have to fundamentally change a lot of the delivery models that we have now. And we've got to we've got to, to talk about the P word, productivity, academic productivity, both in the sense of of productivity of the learner. I mean, you know, learning faster, learning better, productivity of the faculty member, you know, being able to actually teach, I'll say it, teach more students than, than they are now without it, it, it taking more of their time. And, and this really is a place where, you know, the confluence of the technologies that, that we deliver and, and the knowledge that we're, you know, we're getting from the learning sciences can make a huge difference in, in transforming how we educate students. And, and frankly, there have been very, very few institutional efforts to do that kind of trans transformation. And, and sadly, I, I see this actually happening in the current economic crisis. I think we are, in fact, wasting a crisis because I don't see a lot of institutions, you know, making sort of fundamental change in, in delivery. And ultimately, to provide that access, you know, we're going to have to make those fundamental changes. Um, how flexible are, is higher ed? And how do we become more flexible? I actually think higher ed is in some ways quite flexible, yeah, but yeah. we also know, you know, very, very state in other ways. Um, the, the fact that we have found ways to deal with uh, and, and contend with and thrive in an environment where students come in every year with a whole different set of expectations, you know, where our, our jobs over the last decade in the IT profession have changed from uh, identifying systems and providing them to figuring out how do we integrate and support this wide array of consumer technologies. So I, I, I actually think in some ways we're very flexible. I'll just leave it there. I'll stick with, stick with the positive. <laughs> so to take a different uh, uh, view on things, I, I see flexibility in some, of the, in, in, in some of the apparatus that support things. On the other hand, um, I, a notable failure in, in my view, and that's think about the, the, the reward and recognition systems, um, and namely embodied as it is in, in tenure. So where we have tremendous transformation in terms of scholarly communication and we have faculty departments still asking whether or not electronic publications count. Um, where is the book instead of uh, you know a set of uh, virtual activity that has occurred and so forth. So that part of the model which in many ways is the linchpin I think has been pretty much stuck in the mud. So I would agree that in, in many ways we're you know we, we are incredibly flexible uh, and I think there are places though in terms of the way we have done things, you know, for years, and just in the face of a good deal of data about this is not working, we have a really hard time uh, changing. I mean, let me, let me give you an, an example, which I think is very relevant to the, the current, you know, national scene. And that is, if you look at the issue of developmental courses that students have to take, you know, e either to get into a state system or to get into a, to a, a community college system. It's not working. It's fundamentally broken. I mean, 80, you know, somewhere in the, the, the vicinity of 70 to 80 percent of students who are assigned to take those courses never actually succeed in getting through. And yet, there seem to be very few innovative experiments or, or, or concerted efforts to say, I mean, we actually understand pretty well why most of the students don't even take the first course because they're looking at three courses that they would have to take before they take the first course that they really want to take. And, and, and we've always done it that way, right? I mean, and, and we can manage that and it's sort of, you know, it's comfortable. Why aren't we fundamentally changing that? So I think you can find places like that where we, we, we are also ossified.